All right, now let's get a little bit more specific. We're going to use this concept of a social graph, and I think the social graph was actually the, the term, or at least the, the term social graph was coined by, um, uh, by people at Facebook to denote the way that, all, that you are connected to all the other people that you know. So we talked about the idea of a social network being a network. That's a set of nodes that are interconnected. Each of those nodes is a person. They're connected because you know the other people in the, in, um, you know the other people to whom you're connected. So on the diagram here, you can see um, a zoomed out version and a zoomed in version of this thing called the social graph. And actually, I got this off of Facebook. If you want to go to Facebook and, um, and search for social graph, you can download the Facebook app that'll give you your social graph. Social graph is no more than a picture of you and all the people that you know on Facebook and who's interconnected to who. Not only who are you connected to, but who are they all connected to. So if you're not connected to somebody on Facebook, it won't show up on the social graph. But if two people you know, two people you're friends with on Facebook are connected, they'll both show up on the social graph and your connection to them will show up as well as their connection to each other. So that's the zoomed out picture is here and um, the zoomed in picture is in the corner there. And you'll see that what it does is it takes the profile pictures of all these people, puts them in little circles. And when you click on a person, it shows by darkening the lines who all their connections are. You can zoom in and zoom out on this graph and you can look around and it's kind of fun to play with. So I'd suggest that you do that. Go to your, go to your Facebook account or go to someone's Facebook account and, um, and find the social graph app and, and, and check it out. Check out what you look like in the social graph. Okay, so the social graph is how we are connected, at least as far as Facebook's concerned, how we're connected. And of course, it's limited to the people who are friends with you in Facebook. It's not all your social connections. It's only the social connections that you have with people who, are, who you're friends with in Facebook. Let me go over some terminology. I've already given you the, the idea of a node. A node is one piece of the network. And whether we're talking about an uh, interconnection of web pages or an interconnection of people or an interconnection of computers or anything that's interconnected, a node is an individual element. And in the case of Facebook, a node is a person. Nodes, links. Links are the attachments, the associations from one node to another. In the case of Facebook, it's the, it's the attachment from one person on Facebook to one other person who's friends. And we'll get a little bit deeper into that idea of a link or an association in just a moment. But I want to give you the Facebook terminology, and I don't know why Facebook didn't just say nodes and links. You'd think that they would say nodes and links, but instead they say, objects and edges. So one thing to add here is that the nodes in a Facebook, in, for Facebook don't only have to be people, they could be other things as well. They could be locations, they could be events, they could be all the different things that when we talk about the information model of Facebook, you'll see are the Facebook objects. So they're not, in the case of the social graph, they're people, but in the case of, of Facebook, they call each of these nodes, each of these people an object, but the word object can apply to more than just a person. So instead of saying links, which is pretty clear, they say edges. So we have two people and there's an edge between those two people. In a way, it kind of makes sense because you can see person one, person one over here kind of touching person two over there and there's some edge between them. But it's a little bit of an obscure kind of terminology. At any rate, nodes and links are the, are the standard terminology for any kind of network where you have things connected to each other. And Facebook tends to use the words objects and edges. And we'll hear more about objects and edges later when we talk about the information of Facebook. Three other concepts that I want you to have and I want you to be able to understand. The idea of a hub, the idea of a spoke, and the idea of an isolate. A hub, as you can guess from the word itself, is something in the middle. Now we can see in the picture in the corner of this slide here, um, a person. It happens to be Doel. Doel is the uh, student services coordinator for the informatics program at the iSchool at University of Washington, and he's a hub. How is he a hub? He's at the center of many other connections, and you can kind of see that if you look at this image. There's Doel in the middle, and there's all these lines radiating out from Doel. He's in the middle of a lot of interactions. That means he has a lot of friends, and a lot of those friends know each other through him. That's the idea of a hub. So if I say you're a hub person, what I'm saying is that you're in the middle of a lot of other people who don't necessarily know each other, but they all know you. So you're the hub of interaction. You're the, you're the place where all the, all the information flows through on its way out to other people. Those hub people are really important. Hub people are the, um, are the ones that you likely know. Maybe you're a hub yourself and know a lot of other people. And so they're, at the, they're kind of the social center of groups of people. Okay, so there's hubs and spokes. You can see all the spokes hanging out from, from Dowell there. And the spoke people are the people who are connected to well to Doel. Now, a spoke person might also be a hub person in some other group, 
but they're in relation to the hub, they're out on the edge of the hub. Okay, so those people who are, who are spokes to this hub probably have lots of other connections as well. Um, they just happen to be closely connected to this hub person. The hub person is the social, is center of social interaction. The spoke person surrounds that person who's at the center of, center of social interaction. And one other kind of person is the isolate. The isolate is a person who's connected to a whole other group of people by just one other person. They're isolated. They have one connection and only one connection to a group of other people. When we talk about the isolates, we talk about people who are out on the fringe of the group and are only connected to the group by one person. And in fact, if you look at this diagram, the, the, the zoomed out diagram, you can see that there's lots of people hanging around the edges of these different clusters. And each of those people hanging around the edge of the cluster is connected to that cluster, that group of people who know each other are highly interconnected. And they're only connected to that group by one person. Doesn't mean that they're lonely, doesn't mean that they're isolated. It just means that to, with respect to that group, they're connected by one person. Okay, nodes and links. Nodes are the objects in the network. Links are the connections between those objects. Um, we call, uh, Facebook calls them instead of nodes and links, objects and edges. We have the hub people who are at the center of interaction. We have the spoke people who are out connected to the hub people and also interconnected to other people in the group. And then we have the isolates who are connected to the group only by one link, only by one person.